2019 was one of the worst years of my life. Why? Because of greed. In today's video, I want to go over the true path to freedom, and it is not money. It is something completely different. Now, money has long been touted as the key to happiness and freedom, but actually numerous studies have shown that once you have your needs met, like your housing, your food, all your basic necessities, that making anything else over and above that doesn't really lead to more happiness, but it actually might lead to more unhappiness because then you start to keep up with the Joneses and you're spending money on frivolous things that aren't don't really bring meaning to your life. So if money doesn't buy happiness, what does? One thing, serving others. We're all put on this planet to serve other humans, to serve humanity, to provide value for other people. And when you don't do that and you focus on money, for example, your happiness declines as a result. Now, look no further than my story. In 2019, I joined a mastermind and it was all about making more money by creating funnels off of Amazon and shoveling money towards that to build your off Amazon presence to make more money. So we had a pretty good 2018. And so what we did is we took that profit and we put it towards funnels, building funnels, advertisement towards funnels, building a team to build those funnels and do it for us. Now, the thing is, in 2019, we stopped focusing on service because we had built a group called the Dry Eye Syndrome Support Community. It has about 23,000 people at the time of this recording. You can go check it out on Facebook. We also built a YouTube subscriber list of about 55,000 people. So we had built a pretty sizable audience focused on serving. But that year, we focused on money and trying to make more of it. What did this do? It led to a business that did $3.2 million in revenue with $0 in profit. $3.2 million, $0 in profit because we focus on money and not serving others. It was the most stressful year of my life. We had multiple things happen that year, but we almost sold our business for nowhere near what it was worth. We almost sold a $3.2 million business for under a million dollars, if you can believe that. $3.2 million business under a million dollars because our profit was zero. It made no sense, but I almost did it because I was in such a scarce mindset and I wasn't happy because I wasn't focused on service. I was focused on financials. I was focused on money. I was focused on making more of it. And believe it or not, I made less of it. So at the end of 2019, we got rid of that team that was doing all the off Amazon. We shut it down completely. And then we focused back on serving our customers, serving our patients, serving our fellow humans inside the, the dry eye syndrome support community. We did this by answering their questions, by going live with them, by focusing on just giving them value and not even focusing on selling our products. And what happened in 2020, we went from 3.2 million in 2019 to 4 million in 2020. We went from $0 in profit in 2019 to $600,000 in profit in 2020. Think about that. We rose our revenue 20%. And you can't even put a percentage on it because it goes from zero to 600,000. So I don't even know how to put a percentage on that. If you know how, put it down in the comments below because I can't really think of it. Now, on top of service, there was a second thing we did. That second thing is we took a stand. In 2015, we wanted to have kids. So we started trying to have kids. We were told that we couldn't. And we started infertility treatment for the next three years. After three years of infertility treatment, we were getting ready to go to our IVF appointment, which the doctor told us we only had about a 20% chance of getting pregnant with IVF, $28,000 later. And the day of the appointment, I just said, this isn't for us, let's go a different route. Little did I know that those little words right there would change our entire lives. So instead of going to that Western medicine IVF appointment, we then turned around and went to a different appointment for Eastern medicine. We just started doing acupuncture, we started doing herbals, and we got pregnant in six months. Three years battling infertility in the Western medicine system with no results, six months in the Eastern medicine system, and we were pregnant. So it shook us to our core. My wife and I are both eye doctors. We're Western medicine trained doctors. We were working in two Western medicine practices that we owned. So this shook our belief to the core. If Eastern medicine could help infertility, what could it do for dry eye? So we started teaching and serving others around this functional Eastern medicine approach, not fully, just more functional medicine. We pretty much had a dry eye boot camp challenge where it was replace your breakfast with a green smoothie, drink more water, stress less, sleep more. 
and the results started pouring in and people loved it. And the best part about this is that we didn't sell our products in the Dry Bootcamp Challenge, but we said our products are over here and they're natural and organic, help you along your way and it ended up selling more products as a result. We took a stand. We said the prescription eye drops that are out on the market, the prescriptions that you're getting from your doctor do not work and they're not working that well. This way is going to be better. We actually did a survey that's actually a, an official dry eye survey that showed that the way we were teaching was better than the prescription medications that were out on the market. We were seeing better results. And the thing is, it wasn't just their dry eye that was improving. It was their joint pain. It was anything else, their skin, everything was starting to clear up as a result of what we were teaching in this dry eye bootcamp challenge. And as you can imagine, this created raving fans as a result. Now, the best part about this is, like I said, we were focusing on serving, we created raving fans, and we served, which then made us happier. And then as you saw, it went from $0 in profit to $600,000 in profit in one year, all because we focused on service, it made us happier. And then when you're happier and you're focused on service and your business is growing, you no longer wanna sell the business because you're in your happy place and you just wanna keep, continue to serve. And that's all you wanna do. So this emphasizes the importance of focusing on serving others to achieve greater happiness for yourself, which then leads to more success for yourself. It happened with me. I've done it twice. I did it in my dry eye business. I've done it in my agency, Profitable Pineapple. We focus on serving other people. That's it. And if the money comes, great. If it doesn't, I'm still gonna focus on serving other people because I love creating videos like this. I love creating content for you all. This is what I love to do. I love to teach. I used to be a professor at Ohio State before any of this world happened. And I loved it because I got to teach somebody how to do something that's going to forever impact their lives, which then they're going to go and impact even more lives as a result. So action items I want you to take from this video. Take a step back. Let's focus on your top 20% of customers that are producing 80% of your results. Give them a call. Just pick up the phone. Give them a call. Here's my exact script. Let's not even do the top 20%. Let's just do your top 20 customers. And here's my exact script. Hey, it's Dr. Travis Ziegler, the CEO and founder of I Love. We're the makers of your Hydrate Lid and Lash Cleanser. Pause, let them catch up. After they catch up, I just wanted to call and say thank you for your purchase. Is there anything else I can do for you to help you out? Pause, let them respond. Don't fill the silence. Let them catch up and process what you just said. It's nothing mind blowing, but they're like, wait, why is the CEO calling me? And then they're like, wait, he's just asking me to help and thanking me. That's weird. But what this usually led to is more orders. And the reason it led to more orders is because I just focused on service. And usually they had a problem that we could address it with one of our other products. So I want you to go call 20 customers right now and just ask how you can serve them. And I guarantee you're going to get some insight. It's going to help your marketing because you're going to get to really know your customers and you're going to make more orders as a result. So go do that right now. And make sure you check out this next video. If you enjoyed this content, you're going to love this next video that I handpicked for you. And what else do they need to do? Like this video and make sure you subscribe to our channel if you enjoyed this content.